Hasten to save me, O God. O Lord, come quickly to help me. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights above. Sing to the Lord a new song. His praise in the assembly of his faithful people. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in his mighty heavens. Psalm 48 The Lord is great. He deserves to be praised in the city of our God, on his holy mountain. His mountain is lofty and beautiful, the joy of the whole earth. Mount Zion, the northern mountain, is the city of the great king. God is in her citadels. He is famous as her fortress. Look, see, the kings came together. They advanced together. They saw. Yes, they were amazed. They were terrified. They were put to flight. Trembling seized them there, pain like a woman giving birth. You shattered them with an east wind like ships of Tarshish. What we have heard, we now have also seen. In the city of the Lord of armies, in the city of our God, God establishes her forever. Inside your temple, O God, we meditate on your mercy. Your praise, O God, reaches to the ends of the earth, just as your fame does. Righteousness fills your right hand, Mount Zion rejoices. The daughters of Judah celebrate because of your judgments. Go around Zion, yes, go all the way around her. Count her towers, consider her rampart, view her citadels, so that you may tell the next generation about them. For this God is our God forever and ever. He will guide us beyond death. The Word of the Lord. A reading from Exodus chapters 15 and 16. When Pharaoh's horses, along with his chariots and charioteers, went into the sea, the Lord brought the waters of the sea back on them. But the Israelites walked on dry land in the middle of the sea. Miriam the prophetess, the sister of Aaron, took a hand drum, and all the women followed her with drums and dancing. Miriam sang to them, Sing to the Lord, for he is highly exalted. The horse and its rider he has thrown into the sea. Then Moses led Israel on from the Red Sea, and they went out to the wilderness of Shur. They traveled for three days in the wilderness, but found no water. When they came to Marah, they were not able to drink the waters of Marah, because they were bitter. That is why they named the place Marah. The people grumbled against Moses, and they said, What will we drink? Then Moses cried out to the Lord, and the Lord showed him some wood. Moses threw it into the water, and the water became fit to drink. There the Lord made a decree and ruling for them, and there he tested them. So he said, If only you would listen to the voice of the Lord your God, and do what is right in his eyes, and pay attention to his commandments, and keep all his regulations, I would not place on you any of the diseases that I placed on the Egyptians, for I am the Lord who heals you. Then they came to Elim, where there were twelve springs of water and seventy palm trees, and they camped there by the waters. On the fifteenth day of the second month after they had left the land of Egypt, the entire Israelite community set out from Elam and came to the wilderness of Sin, which is between Elam and Sinai. The entire Israelite community grumbled against Moses and Aaron in the wilderness. The Israelites said to them, If only we had died by the Lord's hand in the land of Egypt, when we sat around pots of meat and ate as much food as we wanted. But now you have brought us out into this wilderness to have this whole community die of hunger. Then the Lord said to Moses, Watch what I will do. I will rain down bread from heaven for you, and the people will go out each day and gather enough for that day. In this way I will test whether they will follow my instructions or not. On the sixth day they will prepare what they bring in, and it will be twice as much as they gather on the other days. So Moses and Aaron said to all the Israelites, 
At evening you will know that it was the Lord who brought you out of the land of Egypt, and in the morning you will see the glory of the Lord, because he has heard your constant grumbling against the Lord. Who are we that you should grumble against us? Moses said, Now the Lord will give you meat to eat in the evening and as much bread as you want in the morning, because the Lord has heard your grumbling against him. Who are we? Your grumbling is not against us, but against the Lord. Then Moses said to Aaron, Tell the entire Israelite community, Come before the Lord, because he has heard your grumbling. As Aaron spoke to the entire Israelite community, they turned toward the wilderness, and suddenly the glory of the Lord appeared in the cloud. The Lord spoke to Moses, I have heard the grumbling of the Israelites. Say to them, At evening you will eat meat, and in the morning you will eat bread until you are full. Then you will know that I am the Lord your God. The Word of the Lord. A reading from Hebrews chapter 10. In fact, the law is only a shadow of the good things to come, not the actual realization of those things. It will never be able to make perfect those who continually offer the same sacrifices year after year. If it could do this, would they not have stopped bringing sacrifices? Because the worshippers, once they were cleansed, would no longer have a bad conscience about sins. Instead, these sacrifices reminded them of their sins year after year. The fact is that the blood of bulls and goats cannot take away sins. Therefore, when he entered the world, Christ said, Sacrifice and offering you did not desire, but you prepared a body for me. You were not pleased with burnt offerings and sin offerings. Then I said, Here I am. I have come to do your will, God. In the scroll of the book it is written about me. First he said sacrifices and offerings that were offered according to the law, both burnt offerings and sin offerings you did not desire, and you were not pleased with them. Then he said, Here I am, I have come to do your will. He does away with the first in order to establish the second. By this will we have been sanctified once and for all through the sacrifice of the body of Jesus. In the one case, every priest stood ministering day after day, offering the same sacrifices again and again, which are never able to remove sin. In the other case, this priest, after he offered one sacrifice for sins for all time, sat down at the right hand of God. Since then, he has been waiting until his enemies are made a footstool under his feet. By only one sacrifice, he has made perfect forever those who are being sanctified. The Holy Spirit also testifies in Scripture to us. For first he said, This is the covenant I will make with them after those days, says the Lord. I will put my laws on their hearts and I will write them on their mind. Then he adds, And I will not remember their sins and their lawlessness any longer. Now where these sins are forgiven, there is no longer any sacrifice for sin. The Word of the Lord. Praise be to the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us, he promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us 
to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Keep us today, Lord, from all sin. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy, for we have put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope. Let us never be put to shame. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. May God be gracious to us and bless us, and make his face shine on us. May God bless us still, so that all the ends of the earth will fear him.